Nice. Nice. Thank you, Phoenix, for being a massive bro. Yo, what's going on, Sexy Similar Squad? We're here doing a ranked 1v1. It's Try Hard Thursday. And, um, well, we're going to try hard. Now, as you might know, I've been editing around a little bit with the editing as per the intro that I made. I know it's really simple. I know the intro is super simple. Um, but I feel like even with it being that simple, it adds a level of depth to my video that didn't, there wasn't any before, you know? Um, also, I'm considering adding like a highlight clip in the very beginning of the video of something cool that happened during the match. But I think I might do that also. Do that even maybe before the intro. And then intro into me. Sounds like a good idea. I don't know. Um... But yeah, so I've been messing around with editing a bit. I it, It's a skill I want to learn, and I've put it off for six years. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've been doing this for six years without a damn bit of editing skill. So um, I'm finally starting to edit, and I'm actually enjoying it, which I did not think I would ever say, to be honest. I thought editing was going to be a pain in the ass for always. Why did I think I was fighting a Poseidon? I don't know why, but I thought I was fighting a Poseidon. Like, for real. I, I mean, I'm glad that at least he's a magical god, so I don't look like that much of an idiot going into Runic Shield, but like, what the fuck is going on in my brain right now? I wasn't thinking about anything uh, other than like, okay, he's a Poseidon, he's gonna crack in me, I need Aegis, I need magical defense. <laughs> like, why? What the hell, bro? I have Aegis against an Ares. I'm actually psychotic. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking crazy, dude. Anyways, I was thinking about maybe editing out, um, my deaths. Not, not like me dying, right? No, I'm probably not editing out me dying, but editing out my death timer. Um, because hold on, oh, he's gonna hold me. Fine. Uh, because on Twitch, a lot of people tell me, like, hey, Sam, I thought this was a YouTube video I was watching, and when you died, I tried to fast forward the video. I was like, huh. Okay, so people don't like when I'm talking while I'm dead because there's no gameplay. That makes sense. It's not entertaining. I get it. So please let me know because I, I want to edit, right? I want to edit. I want to try new things. That's the whole point of me doing this. If, I, if I'm not trying new things, then I'm failing, right? So let me know. Do you want me to edit out my cue timers? Put some soft music, like really low uh, music, under me during the match, so that maybe it, I don't know, even when I'm quiet, it, it's not s silent. Um, and obviously edit out the cue times. I know you guys love that shit. I know y'all like editing at the cue times, so I will be doing that, don't worry. But yeah, so I'm, I'm actually loving editing right now. I've been at my computer for an hour, um, just messing around trying to make that intro. And I know, like I said, I know it's super simple. I know people are telling me all the time, 
Like, Sam, if you want some editing done, just tell me. I got you. No, dude. It's a skill I need to learn. I've been doing YouTube for forever. And the fact that I don't know, honestly, is a little bit pathetic. He lived, dude. It's a little bit fucked up, bro. It's a little bit fucked up, gamer. Dude, I have big no mana right now. Are oh, you backing? I mean, I'll take it. Let me clear the way for free, dude. I'm all about that. <clears throat> but yeah, so I've been I've been wanting to learn. I've also been using um fun fact, I don't use Paint 3D anymore for my thumbnails. <laughs> I mean, okay, I do a little bit. Uh for the gods that I put in my thumbnails. And yes, I'm not trolling. I do use Paint 3D for my thumbnails. Or I did for a while. Like the past year and a half. Um but it's easier to remove a background of a photo in Paint 3D than it is in GIMP. So I put in my picture of my god in Paint 3D and then I go back in, reopen it with GIMP, add my text, add whatever little flair I want to add to it. And then... Um, and then that's that. That's my thumbnail. It, it, it does take a bit longer, I'll admit. Um, making the thumbnail in GIMP, but it's worth it, I think. The the stupid-ass white text was, like, so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. Um, in, in retrospect to the, like, the fading red to yellow text that I have now that I love. Um... Which I like, I also like purple or blue fading, but with the... But with the background of, um... With the background of the... Whatchamacallit I have right now. With the background that I use right now for my thumbnails, the purple or blue fade doesn't work as well. It doesn't blend as well. How's your no mana life doing? Oh, I almost got clapped up by that. I'm gonna go hastened. And I guess thorns. Like, thorns isn't very good against Ares, but also it's Ares. Like, I don't really have to try, to be honest. Boom, 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 boom. So yeah, anyways, please, um, in the comments, please let me know if you want to see, you know, maybe a little bit of light music in the background. Maybe a little bit of, um, a little bit of... What, what, what was the, what was the other thing I was asking you about? A little bit of light music in the background and editing out my death timers. Because people normally skip those on YouTube and I don't when I watch videos, but like uh, people normally do. So I'm, you know, I want to appease. I want to appease the audience. If you guys don't want the death timers. I don't want you to watch the death timers. You know, I just like, you know, I'm a, I'm a generous dude. What do you offer? I'm a generous dude. I'm a fellow. The ring. So, I guess I'll probably just go do this. Because there should be no way he steals it. But you never know with me, honestly.
Alright. <clears throat> he sent Cat Anna. Thank you. Oh. Actually, I think there might be two videos today because I want to showcase a glitch. I saw this glitch. Somebody sent me this glitch over Twitter. And it's crazy OP. It's actually super OP. My man's is tanky AF, dude. I'm pretty tanky too, though. Plus, I only have 100 power, so... Should I really expect to kill a double defense Ares that quickly? My Thorns actually did 300 damage. I, was, I really didn't think Thorns would do that well for me. But I saw it ticking for 11s and 12s there, and I was like, you know what? That's not bad at all, man. Clear the wave, because minions are going to be doing most of my damage right now. Oh, I just forgot. This boy's got to deal with fire minions. Oh, shnikes. Dude, you're stuck in the fire minions, man. GG. GG, gamer. You put up a fight, you are Ares, though. And I'm the god of beat your ass, so. GG. Brohemian Rhapsody. Alright. <clears throat> well, that was a pretty easy game. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. All right, welcome back to the next game. Um, so here's the glitch I want to show off. Uh, it's a little bit absurdly overpowered, and if it if it works, at least it's super absurdly overpowered. I don't know if it still works or not. So basically, yeah, it still works. So you can refill your chalice and your pots without ever going into the fountain. And you can just sit here and pop them. Over and over and over. Yeah, so now I have 200 seconds of HP Chalice and 155 seconds of uh, Baron's Brew. So, it's super OP. And it is 100% a bug or a glitch or whatever you want to call it. Because you're not really supposed to be able to do that. They have it so if you walk into the fountain... Um, if you walk into the fountain, you lose your pots. And using this, this glitch or this bug or this... Whatever you want to call it. Using it is definitely a gigantic advantage. Um... Especially because, like, you take no damage from buffs, even if you're a guardian, you know? Like, you just poke and poke and poke and poke and poke. And you have no fear of running out of mana or running out of HP or anything. And by the way, this isn't only done with Baron. It's just the best one is with Baron, in my opinion. Because, um, <clears throat> the Baron's Brew is kind of OP. You can do this with an HP Chalice and a, mal and a Mana Chalice, so like, let's say I started as this Bologna. I just started Warrior's Blessing and Double Chalice. I could have infinite HP and infinite Mana. But yeah, so you could do this start. And, uh... And just completely shit on your opponent. All, at, at all times. At all times. Where is he, by the way? Found him. Never mind. 
A boy's level five. Also, it's worth noting, it's pretty much only good to do this in the beginning of the game. And um, the reasoning behind that is because he'll, he'll probably ult away, I think. He didn't ult away. It's because every single time you back, you have to redo it. So, it's pretty much only super strong in the beginning when you're waiting for minions to spawn. Oh, you know what? It would actually be crazy fucking strong on Chang'e. Oh no. It would be super strong on Chang'e. I think he quit the game. Um, I plan on F6ing this one, by the way, because... Because I don't want to abuse a bug to win, you know? So I'm gonna I'm gonna F6 this one whenever I take his whenever whenever I take his Phoenix and I'm like hitting his Titan and he thinks all hope is lost. Here comes the W Chief. Right. I wish that hit him. I have 2.8k gold right now. That might get the tower, actually. Tower's kind of low. Didn't get the tower. Alright. Fair enough. If I ult the wave, is it clear? Alright, let's just go... Press play boots, I guess. I can't, dude. Shout out to whoever showed me that that bug. I'm definitely gonna send this video over to um over to high res before I upload it, so that they'll get it they'll get it fixed up. But um, but yeah, it's it's really crazy, honestly. And this is going to sound really shitty. Um, <clears throat> but because it's in the game and because I've seen many people do it. Uh, and because it's becoming public knowledge now because other people are showing it. I'm not the first person to show this, by the way. I'm like the 12th. <laughs> like, I'm pretty late to the train. So uh, don't get mad at me if you see this in your games. It's definitely not my fault. But... Yeah, there's definitely definitely people have been showing this off and because it's become more public knowledge this little bug or glitch or whatever uh you're probably going to see almost everyone doing it in your games because I I th I'm pretty sure at this point almost everyone's heard of this bug. I was probably one of the last to be honest. <laughs> um but yeah, it's a little disheartening. Because it's really good on certain characters, like Baron. Um, but you know, as with every new season of Smite, every new patch, every new anything when it comes to Smite really, there's a new meta, there's a new shift, there's a new bug, there's a new god that everyone's abusing. And you just gotta learn how to beat it. So, that's what we gotta do right now, we gotta learn how to beat it. Oh. Alright, we'll get his Phoenix and then we'll surrender. Boop. Boop. 
What did half his HP, dude? All I have is defense. Hit him and he lived through it. Ah. Mm, not the play, buddy. And then we hit him with the ah, the bee, ah, the bee, the bee, the bee. Oh, da, da, da. Congratulations. You beat me, buddy. I just wanted to show that off. Um, Irez, please fix it. People, please don't abuse it. But win your game. It's really obnoxious. Um, and yeah, see you in the next one. Oh, boy, boys. Yo, what's up, boys? We're back in the next game. Let's game on, dude. Let's game on. I'm gonna go Transcendence, actually. Alright. Let's invade. Let's invade. He might not do his blue. He might do his speed. If he does his speed, then I'll probably have to, like, jump and blink over the wall and shit. He just warded right there, actually. Perfect. Actually perfect. We got his shell. We got his ability. Oh. Or one angry cat, my man. What's got you all pissed off, buddy? What's got you all pissed off, buddy? Probably me, honestly. Probably the fact that I stole your buff. Does make sense to be pissed off slightly about that. Uh, see, I could have killed him if I didn't suck and miss my, my auto reset. I didn't miss it. I hit a minion with it, but... All right, same shit, really. Mm. Go boots. We got a chalice. Damn, gamer. Put some respect on the chalice pickup. Wonder if he's doing the bug actually. He might be. I wouldn't put it past anyone, honestly. If anyone picks up a chalice, I just automatically assume they're glitching. Mm, let's get this low and jump on it. Decent heal there. Decent heal there. Alright. I don't really have a bunch of mana left. Well. 
sound effect went off. I'm a little upset that it didn't actually go off, but... You know, sometimes it happens, I guess. Unlucky. Your middle tower is under attack. Alright. Get this red buff down. Dying there really sucks, actually. Because he can get boots. Uh, see if I alt cancelled there? Like, alt cancelled my autos, he was, he was dead. Actually had the kill. They shelled. L O P. I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a very bad spot, actually. How do I? How do I fix this one up? How do I fix this one up? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Ooh, nice. Um, am I lying? No. My arrows are just out of sync. Um, hmm. He's only a hundred gold ahead of me, actually, so. I guess it could be worse, but he's he's pretty far ahead in terms of XP, which is the bad part. <sighs> These fights are like... They're so close, but they're also not close at all, you know? Does that make any sense? Like, I'm always one auto away from killing him. But I can never get there. He has Transcendence now. Shit. Now those autos sound like they hurt. Um... So. He used his two already. So, good. Guidance in the darkness. I wonder if he has alt up. He probably does. Oh, thank god. Thank god we got a kill, dude. Thank god we got a kill. That was big. I also am not getting my second relic yet. I want to know what he gets. I think Second Relic could be a big deal for this game. I can't believe I actually have to try hard once. What the fuck? I almost never have to try hard on my try hard Thursdays. Which is weird to say, but... I threw this guy a lot of kills early though. Kind of a... Kind of a trash can. Got thorns. 
So I wonder if Horrific would be okay here. Because he got thorns. That is actually up. go beads I guess I was gonna alt but um then I figured I can't catch up to him because he jumped away instead of trying to outplay me which you know bitch move but whatever um I can't outplay him like I can't catch up or anything and get the kill so honestly I'm just gonna die to minions I mean, he doesn't get the XP. He doesn't get doesn't get anything from it. So, he finished his hide. Damn, dude. The block stacks on Hyde are so obnoxiously overpowered, it's insane. I had a lot of people message me, actually, and a lot of people on Twitter, too, um, saying they're quitting Smite because block stacks are super OP. Like, upgraded Shell plus Hyde of the Nemean. You know? It's so broken. Upgraded Shell plus Hyde of the Nemean plus, like, Athena block stacks or Bologna block stacks. You literally just can't play the game. A lot of people that message me that. I think I get probably like 10 to 20 mentions a day that just say, Hey, I'm quitting Smite. Can you upload something different? The block stacks are too OP. Like so many people. So many people. And if they still watch my videos, even though they don't play, that's going to piss them off. <laughs> Dying there because of block stacks. Oh shit, that is not at all what was supposed to happen. I was supposed to blink, blink past him. Not onto him. Oh well, rip Phoenix. I'm playing so bad right now, dude. What the fuck? I'm actually playing terribly. Terribly. I, I might want to go Golden Blade, actually. I think Golden Blade will help. I actually lose Phoenix here. Fourteen damage away. That is really bad. Really, really bad. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dude, I gave this guy such a lead. Holy crap. I can't win a fight against him. There's actually no fucking way. Okay. He gets Phoenix for free. This is like one of the unluckiest games I've ever had in my life. I feel like I'm just getting completely fucking dumpstered. Every move I make is the wrong move. And yet I'm still gonna win, which is the weirdest part. Okay, well, unless he fucking kills me, holy shit. Holy fucking Christ. You do 200 damage in auto? Four autos for 850. Excuse me? Thought I was playing Smite, not fucking North Korea simulator. I didn't plan on getting fucking nuked. That's kind of fucked up, bro. The damage, but not enough of it. I, suppose it won't hurt. I can't ever just stick to him, is the problem, you know? Yes, mm, indeed. Ali, mm, indeed. Nice. Thank you, Phoenix, for being a massive bro. I mean, I don't know why anyone's surprised, honestly. I did say I was going to win.
I used my blink, which kind of sucks there, but... Oh, maybe we could kill him. I'm gonna sell boots for Ichabal. And then... We win by default, I think, at that point. Well, assuming, I don't know, not by default, because he's pretty far ahead, but... You know what I mean. You got Atal Atalantas instead of Itchabal. That's really stupid. Why is anyone surprised? Why is anyone surprised? Huh? Why is anybody surprised? I told you I would win. <clears throat> That's what we catch dubs. I think I dabbed that way last time. What? Dab! Hey, what's up, boys? New game. Same me. How you doing? Go Soul Eater. I'm playing Pele because I want to get a diamond. I'm pretty close to diamond. I think I'm at 910 worshippers or something right now, so... I'm pretty close. I'm pretty close. Dude, I love you. Thanks, gamer man, bro, dude. Bro, dude, guy, man, bro. Um, I think. Oh, this you. Actually stole that. Mm -hmm. Go away. He popped his pots. Okay. I think I got his bracer there. Ah, uh, blue buff ran out. Oh no, it didn't run out. He got it. <sighs> I looked at the mini map and I didn't see blue there. Normally it has like the buff down. I guess it's not my buff, so maybe that's why I couldn't see it. That's big unfortunate, man. God, he wants to kill me. So many deads. He actually probably could kill me right now. Double dash two. I'm just gonna back, I think. Back. Another item for me to inhabit. You going for red? Okay. I should be able to stop this. It's gonna be really hard to get a kill on him. What? Okay, cuz if he's giving me free buffs right now. 
he's just giving me freebies right now, I will definitely take them. Gotta go get my soul leader so I can start stacking. I will this to my go with Chalice too while I'm at it. No free Bob, you do not get my blue buff for free. We got his bracer. He got my blue buff, I think. But we got his bracer, so I'm kind of honestly okay with it. Oh, thank you for my healing. Appreciate it. My shell didn't go off, dude! Why didn't my shell go off? I was spamming that bitch. Oh. Oh, what the fuck, dude. Yo, this is some of the worst play I've ever had in my life. I didn't sleep, though, to be fair. I've been slept. It's 9 a.m. right now. Means I've been on my computer for about three hours. I've been recording for about an hour and a half. Um, but yeah, I only slept for like three or four hours last night. Oh god. Yo, why does he do so much damage, though? That's what I want to know. Why does this man, too, do 300 damage? When all he has is Golden Blade. And no Red Buff. It actually doesn't make sense. I don't know why I bought a health bar right there. At least I have my Soul Eater finished now, which is nice. I actually heal so much, but so does, excuse me, he doesn't heal that much, but he does so much damage. We got his tower down for free because he refused to back. That's really good. Also, if I can bait him for like another 5 to 10 seconds, I just get full heal when he hits me. Watch this.
All right. All it took was a little bit of bait using the face. The face bait is what I like to call it. I actually do think I want red buff right now. This always happens, by the way. When I play more, um... When I play more duel than conquest, I get really bad at conquest and really good at duel. And then when I play more conquest than duel, I get really good at conquest and really bad at duel. Because they're so, like... Entirely different. They're so completely different. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. The burst damage from... The burst damage from Pele when uh, she actually gets... To you with the alt is unprecedented. I don't think I'm scared of him. I kind of assumed that uh, I wasn't going to kill him there. I just wanted to get him away from me so that I could hear the wave or the, the this thing, the phoenix. That's what it's called. Melee damage is so disgusting. I don't know if she's that strong, like individually, but her burst damage is insane. I've been playing her a lot in the jungle in Conquest. I should go some defense, but I don't... I mean, he's not going defense. I guess Blackthorn is defense. I mean, it doesn't have defense on it, but it has 300 HP. That's kind of... That's kind of defense. Pretty much defense. Alright, so now with Erendite, is there literally any chance he outtrades me ever? I don't think so. Erendite is really strong. 75 power, dude. I almost died because that knock up didn't knock up. GG, man. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, again, let me know what you think about what uh, type of editing you want to see in these videos. And until next time, guys, peace.